All right. This is a bit off topic, this one, um, in that this is really for power users. Uh, but this is fascinating. Um, InfraNotice is a product that brings together knowledge graphs with artificial intelligence. And it has a whole host of integrations with the internet um, to find concepts. But it helps you explore concepts that you may not have thought about before um, in ways that you really haven't comprehended. But this is super interesting. So if we go over here, this is it, InfraNotice. So what InfraNotice does is it creates these um, knowledge graphs with text around topics. And the way these work is the more predominant a word or concept is within a text space, the larger um, the circle. And then what it's doing is it's using AI to find relationships between the concepts in the data set. And so what it can start to do is it can start to look at topic spaces to bring up really complex relationships around um, the text and knowledge available on that particular topic. But also it gives you AI tools to be able to explore those and you can select sub components of those. Um, now th that text, if you were to select a few of those, um, is a relationship of the text that's underneath the model, if that makes sense. So it's about honing in on a broad amount of text into smaller parts to answer questions of importance. So let's go and have a look at a real example. Um, so if I just go brainstorm an idea here, um, Let's do it from the web and let's do a Google search. And let's just say, um, how is the NDIS using generative AI to improve the lives of people living with a disability? So what this is going to do is it's going to go away and it's going to look at 40 different web pages. So it's going to do a Google search, run those 40 different pages. Um, let's look at users in Australia. Now let's run that and see what happens. Super fascinating. So what you can do is up the top, you can put this. So this text explores various initiatives using AI to enhance the lives of people with disabilities from assistive technologies in the space of educational support for children. It highlights the impact of AI in areas like home automation, NDIS claims, and speech recognition of non-standard speech. Okay, how can automation Okay, so, so this will start giving you some questions to ask in the data set. But you can also look at things like the main ideas. So it starts to cluster these things into live events, life stages, disability insurance. So this is very, very sophisticated, as you can see. Assistive technology, home automation, social progress. So. There isn't actually much here on generative AI, which is what I asked for, which doesn't surprise me. But if I select assistive technology here, we can start to view the relationships between these things. Social progress, cloud computing, home automation. But let's say we go into this area. Now down the bottom, I can go into this AI insights and I can chat with the bot. 
Now, what this is going to do is if I've got that selected, it's only going to, um, it's only going to talk at the ones that are on. So let's say I go into assistive technology chat and I type in a question. Um, please provide example programs looking at generative AI for people with disabilities. Chat. Voice it. Okay, so I can save that to notes and you can actually save these to notes. So at the end, you can grab it and manipulate it within generative AI itself. So let's elaborate on that. Let's ask it. What about ChatGPT? What is the NDIS using that for? Okay, chat. Interesting. Um, we can also ideate. Create a generative AI framework that integrates chatbot technology with personalized cognitive advancement schemes. This system empowers users. So th this is actually some of the answers that the sector could use. So let's save that to notes. Another idea, develop a generative AI framework that empowers people with disability by enabling personal chatbot schemes for national disability support. Okay, add that to there as well. Let's come up with some more ideas. Develop an AI framework that empowers users with intelligent submission processes where the AI suggests optimized to approach tasks. Add to the notes. So you see how I'm just generating ideas for the NDIS, just live of their own data. Create an AI-driven framework that enables users to submit their ideas. Okay. So add that. Now, if I just copy that text and I was to... Um, Write me an email to the NDIS in Australia, giving them some ideas of how they could help people with disabilities live better lives with generative AI. Cool. So it's done that letter, but what I can also do is I can also change it to challenge. Empowering people with disabilities through artificial intelligence and create dependency and limit autonomy by submitting to predefined frameworks. True empowerment should focus on enhancing individual capabilities rather than enhancing reliance on external systems. Yes, that's an easy. Yeah, so, so you can um, qualify what you're trying to do. Um, and if I was to Google it, so here's an actual article around that specific question as well. Interesting. So as you can see, you can use this technique to find things. I'll give you another example. 
let's say, um, let's go to Officeworks. Let's go to laptops, all laptops. Let's click on this laptop. Let's grab that. We'll go back and we'll create a new example, extract from the web, Google. I want you to tell me everything about this laptop. including what is wrong with it. Visualize. Okay. Chat. Please tell me why people do not like this laptop. Edge to edge glass, performance issues under high load. Overheating issues with the RSXE graphics during intense use. Possible fingerprint smudges on the glass, potential durability concerns. So yeah. Why is the edge to edge glass a problem? There you go. So you can drop it. So as you see, you know, you can look at pretty much any topic and you can really drill into drill into stuff. Um, you can even get it to generate the questions that should um, be asked about these things. So I think I might leave it there to keep the video short, but um, InfraNotice is a super cool tool. Um, check it out.